Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 12th, January 12th. This is for whoever, whenever. We're just going to see whatever comes up. We are going to start with this one, and we're going to get one of these, and we're just going to go with it, as I always do. I'm going to start on another segment for the end of January, I think. I don't know if I'm going to do weekly or the end of January. We'll see. We'll see whatever comes out of my mouth. That's the way it goes, right? Whatever comes out, comes out. What do we got for the 12th? What do we got for the 12th? For what, what do I need to reveal today? What's going on here? Ooh, Hierophant. This is the Hierophant. This is wisdom, inner wisdom. Listening, faith, believing in yourself. Somebody has gained a lot of life experience. That life experience them has given them the wisdom, the inner wisdom that they need to follow their own path. And their inner guide is really, really, really talking to them at this point. Now, fives is, five is a number of change and choices. So somebody is in the process of making a major life change in regards to their own path, right? So that's what's going on here. What, what... And they're listening to their inner guides. Like my 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 inner self is guiding the way. They are being divinely guided from the inside to make a change. Now you see all that light, you see that, it's very enlightened. This person has been enlightened. We'll see what we can get from one from this deck. I'll try not to be as dramatic as I was yesterday. I'm very uh, vocal, so it is what it is, right? We're just going to take that top card. Oh, wow, well, they're all a mess, aren't they? We're just, we're not going to keep going, but, I mean, I just flipped it over. Now we got, I could just keep going and going and going and going and going. Um, but we're going to stop right there. We're going to just look at these real quick. Courage, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. That's a good one, isn't it? It is. You gotta find courage to follow your own path. That takes courage. It also takes being honest with yourself, believing in yourself, having enough wisdom to know. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Somebody's going to need some discipline as well. <laughs> We're not going to go through this whole deck, but we certainly could. Um, yeah, somebody is, is going within. And they're finding the courage to be honest with themselves. That's not an easy task. It's not an easy task. Especially fives are also about conflict. When there's, when there's a conflict, you know, there's an inner conflict. Your heart wants one thing, but perhaps that's not <clears throat> in your best interest, right? Or maybe, maybe your heart wants one thing, 
and you need to find the courage to follow it. You have to follow your heart. You have to follow those nudges. You have to follow those pokes. You have to believe in yourself, and you got to find the courage to do that. January 12th. Yeah, somebody's going to be finding the strength to face their fear. I mean, it doesn't get any clearer than that. It's clear. It's clear. Not a fear here. <laughs> and that's why this is here. There's fear. Lack of strength, lack of strength. In between this two of cups. Fear of a partnership. Fear of commitment. Fear of love. Somebody needs to open up, allow themselves to share, you know, open their heart. It's time to share. It is. It's time to share. This is sharing your wisdom or sharing yourself. But there's lack of strength, there's lack of discipline, and that's why this is both lack of discipline. And it's funny that we have discipline, it, and it does change, okay? So we might as well just look at these two cards, because then it changes back, so we are going to look at these. But, uh, so there's there's lack of discipline, there's, lack, there's fear, there's lack of courage. I mean, there is, because this is... If you think of the Queen of Wands, she represents uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Leo is about strength and courage. She's reversed. There's lack of courage. There's fear. There's fear here. There's fear of a union, fear of partnership. Somebody needs to find the mental strength to follow their, their inner guide, follow their gut. Their gut is being honest with them, but... They have this fear that's holding them back from following their gut. We're just going to take a look at these since it stops. So these are meant to come out. See, it is. They are all stopped. Anyway, I didn't notice it before, but I do now. Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Absolutely. Anybody can. I haven't seen the next one. Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. I'll focus this after. So somebody is a ten of coins. This is this is a building something stable, solid it's the beginning, okay, because it's a completion. It's a completion of something that probably was secure. Because this is security. This is very secure. It's abundance. But it's the beginning because it tends, it's the ending that leads to a beginning. It's the beginning of something abundant if you find the courage and the discipline to follow your gut.
Interesting. You've got to listen to yourself, nobody else. That's why this card is here. I can always expect the truth from others. I can't, I can't, I cannot always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. My gut, my intuition, my inner guide no, tells me what I need to do. Somebody has been wasting their time <laughs> investing in something that has no growth. Unrealistic situation. Ooh. There's that damn strength card reversed. Like I said, there's fear. There's lack of courage. Oh, my God. And discipline. There's lack of courage and discipline. And there's lack of balance. Interesting. Oh, well. It's time to be grounded and listen. And, and, you, and you know, if you think about your, your uh, third eye, your third eye, this is inner seeing. You know, you know what you need to do. You know, you see, that's her third eye, illuminated. She knows what she needs to do. She knows. She knows. That she has to move, he or she in this reading, needs to move in a different direction. They need to find the strength and the discipline and the willpower to do something Somebody knows their gut is really, really, really speaking to them. I mean, really speaking to them. And I'm going to say this. If you are a Taurus, especially, this is Taurus, this is Taurus. Or a Leo. We have Leo. Or a Cancer. I'm, going to, I'm just going to really point this out here. Somebody is letting fear and lack of discipline, lack of courage, and fear of following their own path hinder them from success. Now, this could resonate with any other sign as well. It could. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. We have Gemini. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Cancer. We have all the signs, okay? We do. Somebody's being dishonest with themselves. Son of a bitch. And you can point the finger at somebody else all you want. This has nothing to do with another person. This has to do with you. It has to do with the choices that you make. Somebody has to make a choice. A big one. And this choice is in regards to what path? What path? Somebody's in the process of making a choice, making a decision. Really, really being told by the divine, there's no doubt. Through, their, through themselves, through their inner guide. They're, it's like you're receiving uh, messages maybe in your dreams, maybe, you know, even in your daydreams. Maybe they come out of the blue, you know, while you're doing the dishes or you're driving in your car or through music or whatever. Somebody is receiving some sort of messages that are telling them what they need to do. And this person, whoever is receiving the messages, needs to be honest with themselves and realize that they are going to have to accept change and make a choice in regards to what is best for them. What does what do they want? What do you want? What do you want? You have to do this to bring balance back to your life. It's what it is, the truth. One of one of our life lessons is strength and courage in this lifetime. And somebody need and things will be unbalanced. Things will be uh, in an upheaval. Things will will be, you know, 
unharmonious if you don't follow your own path. It's the truth. If you, When you try to follow somebody else's path, all it does is bring upheaval to your life. That's all it does. Somebody has invested perhaps in a relationship, maybe even a marriage, that is unrealistic. I'm sorry, but that is the truth. And now they have an opportunity for something really... perfect, you know, something really divine. If they could just find the courage to make that right choice, the courage, the discipline, the strength. To follow their gut. Somebody's gut is telling them to do something and they're not listening. There's an opportunity for love here. There is. There is. Definitely an opportunity for love. But it's not going anywhere. It's not headed in the right direction because somebody is being dishonest with themselves. Son of a bitch. I mean, I can't make this shit up. Somebody is, is basically giving their power away to something that is, they can touch. You know, I can touch this. It's here, you know, it's something, but it's not the truth. It's not fulfilling. It's not real, okay? Yeah, I can touch it. I can touch it. It's something for me to hold on to. It's something, but it's not, it's not what I want. It's not what I want. It's not going to lead to success, and this person knows it's not going to lead to success, but they don't have the courage and the strength and the willpower and the wisdom to step out of it. They can't step out of it. It's like they're paralyzed. And while they're paralyzed in their own fear, they're being, they're being told, be real. This is the queen of reality. The queen of coins is the queen of reality. Get real. Be real. Get real. Get real. Get real. Be real. You know what you got to do. It's just going to take mental strength and willpower to follow your own path. So... For, I'm not going to keep going. I know what this is. Somebody has to make a decision in regards to real love. Real love. Somebody is being dishonest with themselves. That's all there is to it. About a partnership. There's an opportunity to begin a relationship here that is divinely orchestrated, okay? It is. It's divinely orchestrated. But somebody's not moving in that right direction. They're not moving in the direction that they need to go in out of fear, out of, you know, victim mentality. There could be another person holding them back. You know, there's a choice between two people here. There is. Somebody is being held back by a lie. <laughs> it's something to touch, but it's not real. So it feels like today, the 12th, is a day of listening, receiving the inner knowing that will lead you to success. So really pay attention to the signs on this day. Really pay attention to the signs because I feel like there's going to be some sort of... Uh, clarification that is going to be received but 
You may not receive it because you're not wide awake yet. You need to open your eyes, open your third eye, open your eyes, open your eye or eyes to what you are hearing, to what you are feeling. There's a there's a opportunity for a beautiful partnership here. There is. But there's also a choice between two lovers. There is. There is a choice between two lovers. There lovers, I'm telling you what. There's a choice between two lovers here. And there's consequences. That is that's the choice. That's the truth. There's there's consequences for the for the uh, choices that you make. This is a card of consequences and somebody is living out of fear, perhaps fear of that real commitment. This is this is marriage. This person, I mean the Hierophant card also means commitment and marriage. And this is commitment as well. So somebody has fear of commitment. Real commitment, real commitment. This person doesn't play any games. None. So I feel like today is a day of believing in yourself, listening to your gut. Paying attention to the signs and maybe making a choice because this is making a choice between the two now will there be any communication coming through will there be any communication coming through will anybody be communicating is what I mean will anybody com be communicating with the person that they really love whoever that is Somebody is headed towards a partnership, but they don't really have the courage to do so. Whether you're single or you're coupled, somebody doesn't have the courage. They're letting fear paralyze them from finding love, the real love of their life. That's the truth. They've wasted some time on some sort of commitment or relationship they've wasted time on something and there's an opportunity to begin a, a new one but that damn fear now what was the question will they communicate come out of their shell there's fear of rejection <laughs> yes there is there's fear of rejection um, whew. taking that mask off that's a that's a big one Indecision, delays. Somebody is emotionally guarded at this time and they might not, they may be so paralyzed with fear of rejection that they can't communicate. So I think today is a day of listening, receiving messages from your gut, per se, the divine in regards to what path you want to go down. Somebody is really guarding themselves from pain, really afraid of, definitely afraid of being rejected by following their heart. Yeah, ace of, ace of coins reversed. It's like they, they may feel like this opportunity's already been lost. It's a lost opportunity. That's really sad. Yep, mentally trapped, trapped in their own prison. <sighs> protecting themselves. Somebody is protecting themselves from facing their fears. So it looks like today is a day of contemplation, really. It is. I'm going to be honest. About whether you have the inner strength and the confidence to face your fear and follow your heart. 
there's an opportunity for a partnership, a union here. If somebody can be honest with themselves about about commitment, about love, about what they're what they really want. If they can face change and they can make make the decisions that they need to make. I can accomplish what I set my mind to, but it's going to take discipline. And you're going to have to have courage. I find that I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. You gotta replace that fear with confidence. This is believe in yourself. This is listen. Listen to what you are hearing, please. Honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others. Very seldom, as a matter of fact. I'm gonna be honest with you. And you need to be honest with you. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Listen to your own gut. Those other people, they don't live your life. They don't feel your pain. It's time to bring balance back. It's time to follow your own path with faith. Are you listening to your gut? That is the message of today. Balance, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Follow your gut. Do not second guess it. Do not second guess what your gut is telling you to do. Now your gut will speak to you through thoughts. Constant thoughts. Constant thoughts. Say so you are constantly thinking about somebody. You can't get this person off your mind. That's your gut. Something is, is telling you, you got to do this, you got to do this is what you want, you got to do this, you're not happy, whatever, that's your gut. Something isn't right, I know something isn't right, I don't know what it is, but something isn't right, what's going to happen, I'm feeling uneasy, something isn't right, I know something, that's your gut. Somebody is holding on to something that they can, that appears to be... You know, it's tangible. It's 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 something you can hold on to. It's something. It's any something to have. But that's all it is. It's not real. It's a lie. So anyway, that's what I have for the twelfth. The twelfth is about opening your eyes and listening to your gut. Listen. Pay attention to the signs. And have faith in what you are hearing. And that's what the 12th is about. You're going to be receiving messages. You are. You are. All you got to do is believe in what you're hearing. So you could hear it in a song. You could hear it via silence. You know, you're, you're driving in your vehicle. You're, you're going to do a job. And you get this message. React to what you hear. Good luck.